If somebody had come to me and said, look, over two years, I will expose you to various areas of drug development, I would have jumped at that chance. I mean, this is an enormously beneficial opportunity for folks. It's not something that is available everywhere. And you can learn in two years what people spend years or decades finding their way from job to job or function to function to get. I think that you really can't have a true appreciation for a novel medicine unless you see where it was born, how it was discovered, how it was characterized, how is it optimized, and all of that happens in research. There's an inherent curiosity, I find, to the, the VPIs that we bring in, and it's such an amazing opportunity for them to learn and ask questions and be curious. I think there's two levels of mentorship you get as a VPI fellow. The first level is with your functional managers. And those relationships I've seen last. You have a relationship with a mentor in one rotation and you maintain that relationship throughout your career as a VPI fellow and beyond. That's an opportunity to really get some teaching and, uh, and experience from a highly experienced individual. Then there's a second level of mentorship, which is overall career development mentorship. And I participated more on that level with VPI fellows. I've been in industry for a long time and I've had a lot of good conversations with folks trying to help them understand what their pathway in industry looks like. We actively match each VPI with at least three mentors, one in research, one in clinical development, and one in the non-R&D area. So the physicians get to explore all different possibilities in their career and learn from people with a lot of experience. And they come here from all different specialties and they contribute their medical knowledge, their clinical training, as well as their creativity and intellectual curiosity. They started with zero industry experience, and now they are able to talk about the Vertex strategy. They have become catalysts within Vertex, and we have managers coming to us, praising their physician investigators, and they are asking for more physicians to join them. And they become masters of things extremely quickly, which is the hallmark of a good physician in drug development. You have innate curiosity, you're a critical thinker, and you can become an expert in short order. That's what we do. I think it's important for physicians to be therapeutic area agnostic, and I think being a VPI fellow fosters that. It's expected. The motivation in academia is obviously a different motivation than in industry, and they come here and they're often shocked at how collaborative we are and that we're in different teams, but that we're moving and working together, which is incredibly productive and rewarding. In other companies, you sort of have a wall between research and preclinical, and there's another wall between preclinical and translational, and another wall between early development and late phase clinical development. And here it's really seamless, and we're continuing to work hard to increase the collaboration and the connectivity between all of these groups. I love that we are investing in physician scientists they're investing in us, and then in the end, they come and join us.